I tested positive for COVID. Ooh. I'm sorry yeah. To hear that. Wow. <laughs> um, thank God it's a lot better now. Um, I'm kind of at, at the end of it, but we're still waiting a few more days to get tested and, and see um, if we're positive or, or negative, um, if we're contagious or not, so we can kind of resume with everyday life. Um, How are you doing, though? Are you feeling okay or are you asymptomatic? Yeah, I'm feeling so much better. Yesterday was kind of my last difficult day, I think. Um, it's It's been up and down. Thankfully, nobody has had serious symptoms out of my family. I'm the one that got hit the hardest, but the hardest was just a lot of body aches and fever, um, some nausea, vom- whatever. Oh, wow. <laughs> Those fun things. I'm I'm so sorry to hear it, but I'm glad that it sounds like you're largely largely past it now. Yeah, um, I'm I'm really happy about it. It's it was a rough uh, week and a half, but thankfully things are better. Um, But this meeting kind of landed at a really good point because uh, I was I was sick and I felt really sick and I didn't want to touch anything Elsa. In January, Elsa is two weeks away. (laughs) Yeah. So um that that took away I mean before I got tested I was feeling sick as well so I didn't really want to study and I wasn't able to study as much as I would have wanted to so that's about two weeks of rigorous studying that I was just physically wasn't able to do um I do a logic game every here and there to try to keep my brain awake and um, not feel completely disconnected, but I just knew that I needed to take the time to to recover. Um, because if I was just stressed and studying all the time, I just wasn't going to recover and be a longer recovery process. So um, this is something that I, I, I faced and pretty close to, to test day. I'm thankful that it wasn't any closer to test time because I I, um, possibly could still could still be sick if it happened later Um, but it happened around Christmas time so I've had time to recover Um, I'm taking a winter semester and classes start again today after like a few days breaks and I feel I feel okay to do that so I feel okay if I'm okay to tackle my my classes I feel okay to go back into studying but now the strategy is it has to be pretty different because it's crunch time um it, it would it would have been crunch time if I had tested positive or not um but now it's even more so so I kind of wanted to have this conversation with you um I'm not sure if any other students have tested positive hopefully not um, that may be going through this, but potentially somebody else that, um, hopefully not, God forbid, but if somebody else does, uh, test positive either for January or for any other ELSA, um, just what it, what it is, it's a weird circumstance, but what are the things that you might recommend, um, for a student in this kind of situation? Yeah, of course. I mean, you're certainly not the only one for either January or February or in general over the past year or so. COVID has affected so many people to varying degrees in one way or another. And so every situation is going to be unique. Thankfully, you're okay now. You're largely past it. Yeah, we got through. Yeah, you got through it. I mean, it took you away for a while. Now you're back. Exams in two weeks. So take a moment to just check in, evaluate where you stand, evaluate how you're feeling. And if you're feeling comfortable still moving ahead to take the January LSAT specifically versus possibly acknowledging that it may have taken some time away from the LSAT and you may want to push it back a little bit. So that's the first thing I'd be looking at. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.